Sakurai, great news! Sega just approved to have Sonic return for the fifth installment of Smash. Sonic will be returning for Smash Ultimate? That's right. This is satisfying news. So, now that we're bringing him back for a third time, wouldn't you say it's time we rework his moveset? What? Why would we do that? Sakurai's terrible. He does literally nothing but transform into a ball. Don't be ridiculous. He has a very unique and expressive moveset. Oh yeah? What kind of moves did you give him? I gave him Spin Dash. And... And then I gave him another one. Yeah, why would you do that? You made two moves the same move. Because Spin Dash is so good, I just had to give him Spin Dash too. Yeah, I don't think many people would agree with that philosophy. Are you suggesting that I make some... Adjustments? Yes, that's exactly what I'm suggesting. Alright, in that case, there is one move I've been thinking about adjusting. Is it Spin Dash 2? What? No, I'm talking about his forward smash. One of the few moves where he isn't turning into a ball? Yeah, no, I think we should leave that move alone. And done. What? What did you do? I made his fist bigger. How big are we talking? <laughs> Why would you make it bigger than Donkey Kong's giant punch? Oh, you think that's giant? Let me show you something bigger. In what universe is Sonic's arm supposed to outrange that? You guys complained about his spin dash being over centralizing, so now I'm just gonna let him punch his way through everything instead. What do you mean by everything? Everything. What if someone throws a projectile at Sonic? He'll punch it. That move can beat projectiles? Like I said, anything. Even Robin's Arc Thunder? Who's what now? No way that just happened. The best part is that he doesn't even have to face in the same direction. He can just punch the air and it'll still block out any projectile. What? Yeah, he can just punch the opposite direction and it'll still work. Why does that move block attacks from behind him? He can punch characters that are behind him too. That literally makes zero sense. You ain't seen nothing yet. Watch this. Wait, is that Terry from the King of Fighters? Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be a future DLC that we'll discuss in another video. So let me get this straight. Instead of spin dashing everything, now his game plan is to forward smash everything? Pretty much. What if someone uses a counter? He'll punch it. It can outrange counters? You really didn't see that coming. Okay, but what if someone is off the stage? He punches them. Oh, so you can punch through stages now. Yeah, that's cool. Also, how did that reach him? Trust me, this is my vision. No, 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 no. There is no way that move should be hitting from that distance. Sakurai, let me see the hitbox visual for this move. Sure, let me bring that up for you. All right, let me see this. Man, what the hell? I have decided to take some inspiration from Sonic Unleashed, where Sonic was able to unleash his inner beast and stretch out his arms when he punches people. What's wrong with you, man? Look at this thing! The hitbox is way out of proportion. In no way does this hitbox match the visual of the move. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. Wait, really? How did I miss this blind spot over here? Good eye, Nintendo. How do we go from him spin dashing everything to now punching everything? He can also use it to dodge attacks. What? <laughs> How did that grab miss him? He will shift his hurt box while punching, so he'll be able to avoid attacks just by punching them. What? How did that attack miss him? See, when I mentioned that he shifted his hurt box earlier, I didn't just mean his body shifted in two dimensions. I meant to say that his body will shift into the third dimension. Are you kidding me right now? It's okay, bro. I know the perfect way to balance this. How? We'll just nerf Supersonic and make it the worst final smash in the game. So we're still keeping Spin Dash 2? Oh, absolutely. Gosh damn it. 